This demo here is for the Denton DV502A. Up top here is you have your bell jar. Uh, there's some screws on here that go to the front panel, but I have the front panel open so I can show you underneath. Down below the bell jar we have is your control panel, which over consists on the left hand side is all your valving uh, to turn on the system to pump. And over here is like your automatic pump, your valves to turn the system on and off, and your mechanical and diffusion pump switch. Over here is your uh, filament for your uh, deposition on here, and you got an amp meter here. You got your adjust here for the power. You got here switch to turn it on keep it on a filament or glow this system here is set up for filament and then you have left and right which we only have as the right side working on top of that here you have is your rotation over here is your your uh, vacuum gauges this is for your four line and chamber and this right here is your high vac as you can see the system right now is one into the six As you can see, like if you go in a seven, it's out. And down below is everything that's between your pump, your diffusion pump, and your control panel with your contactors, your uh, power distribution for the filament. So, Let's go to the back of the system. And back here, I just want to show you is you have your power cord, which is right here. Then you have your exhaust for your pump. And over here, right next to the, that's your front panel right here. And then you have your, your water hookups, your control for your uh, diffusion pump. And you also, this system requires you to have uh, power uh, pneumatic, so you have to have uh, 80 pounds of, of compressed air to run the valves. So what I'm going to first show you is that the system right now is under vacuum and that I'm going to turn on the uh, filament. It's got a carbon source in there, so I'm going to turn the car, turn the filament on. It's going to make sure it's on the right hand side. And now I'm going to increase, you're going to see this gauge go up. And you'll, that means the carbon up top is going to get, start glowing. You see that means the voltage is going to it. It's and you can see it's getting glowing. There you go. And now it will be evaporating the carbon rod. I'm gonna see that you're up around 35 to 40 with that. And then I'm going to turn on rotation by turning this on. And you can see the table spinning around. You can see that the pressure has moved up. So I can drop it back down. And I'll shut the Shut it off and you can see it'll start dropping back down again. It's in a five range. You can see it's starting to come down into the six range.
Now to vent the system, all you have to do is I have these all on manual. If I want, I can just go ahead and put this right to pump. And what that will do is doesn't it will make these be useless. Unfortunately, I don't have a light for here for your high back and your roughing, and that's on order. It will be fully functionable, or the lights will be replaced and with something working, and the system ready light will be on uh, by the time this is ready to be shipped out. So it's right now for to vent the system and oh, get to the chamber. We're going to put this on vent. We're going to shut off the high back valve or, or the uh, high back gauge, cold cathode gauge. And right now you can see that the bathroom's still on. This vent light will should should be on right now, as you can hear that it is venting the chamber. If I put on, you can see the chamber right now is that atmosphere. So as you can see, I can lift this up now, move it out of the way. Here's your, your sources right there. Here's your rotation. And now I'm going to put it back on. And then all I got to do is just flip the switch to pump. As you can see, it changed over to a roughing right now. You can hear the pump laboring. And we'll wait for this chamber pressure to get around 50 millitor, sometimes around 35, and then it will do the crossover to high back. This right here is your mechanical pump vent. Basically when you are done using the system and when you want to shut it off, you're going to do is pull this valve open and that will do is create your vacuum lines to be at atmosphere. Just so your uh, mechanical pumps don't uh, backstream. And as you can see, your vacuum gauge is coming down right now. Once it gets somewhere around here between 20 and 50 millitor, you'll hear it go through a series of valves and uh, put it in their high vac without dumping the system. Now, as you can hear, you hear that clicking. So what it did right now is it's trying to cross over and it's still going back and forth. You can go by this. And once you start seeing this pull all the way down, with like right about now, then I know I can turn on my IVAC, turn this on, wait for it to stabilize and you put this over to zero and you can see that we're in a four range and you can watch this needle start going up but right now I just switch it to the five range and you'll start seeing this needle go down once it goes to around zero It all varies on how much it can pull down there because of carbon absorbing the moisture. But as you can see, the base pressure before was one to the minus six, which makes it very good vacuum. And you can see it now it's pulling down. And I'd say it probably takes maybe a half an hour to get in maybe the 
low sixes. And like I said, that will vary on what you're using to uh, vent the system with. And um, that's pretty much just showing you the functionality of the system. And uh, that's the end of the demo.